is when we leave it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, and yes, from the title of the video, it is a sport-related video. Now, this video I have actually done previously. I did this video probably six months ago, like nearly a year ago I did this video. It was sometime this year, or maybe sometime last year in October, or something. But this is my NRL 2022 ladder predictions. Now, I'm doing an updated one, because the season starts in seven days, the NRL season kicks off. So I'm going to do an updated one. I don't know why I did one four months out of the season. So this is three, seven days out of the season. We're going to do an up, updated NRL ladder prediction. We're going to do bottom eight. And probably in another video, do the top eight. So bottom eight, top eight, let's go. Also, if you want to watch the previous uh, prediction I did for this season coming up, click up here to watch it, somewhere up here. So let's get straight into it. So this video is going to work out like this. I'm going to say to the team who's coming 16th, and go through why. It's going to go very quickly. So, 16 is the New Zealand Warriors. Now, the reason why I put them last, just because, not, not because they're New Zealand, you know, just mainly because they're a New Zealand team, they're not going that well. It's just because they haven't really recruited a lot of boy, um, a lot of, a lot of players that much. Not really, there hasn't been a lot of players that they've announced. They, I, I do, I tell you, do, I tell you some guys who are, going very well right now. We got for one Blake is good. We got Sean Johnson. Now he is a key to the he did come from Sharks to my boy Sharks to the Warriors. Sean Johnson is a plus for me. He's probably gonna lead the team mainly. Uh, we've also got Cody Nicarima as well. Matt Lodge also from the Broncos. China's Harris Tavita, he's also in there. Ash Taylor has gone to the Dragons. I do, sorry, New Zealand. I remember that now. He is gone. Reese Walsh is also there. Also, Dalla Wartes and Lesniak is also there. So, they do some good boys, but not a lot that I know of, really. That's really why I think they're not going to go that well. Just because... I just don't know. I'm just saying right now... Jesse Arthurs is all... No, he's not. Jesse Arthurs at the Warriors. Hmm, Coach Nathan Brown will probably give him a few runs. But yeah, I just think Warriors at the at number 16 is because... I don't think they're going to get... I don't think they'll go higher than 10. They might get 11, they might get 9, but I don't think they're going to make the top 8. Not too sure. Moving on. 15. 15 spot on the ladder. It is a team that we did win by 30 against. And Ronaldo Multi broke his jaw. It's the Tigers. Now, why? Why the Tigers? Well... See, they, they have some really good blokes on the team. Adam Dewey, uh, Dan Laurie, Jacob Little, uh, who else? Luke Gunn, Luke Brooks, David Offs and all those boys. Joe Hoff and Gowie, all them. Uh, Tyron Peachy is also going to the Tigers. Wow, James Tamo, Junior Tamo, brother. A lot of boys going just because Michael Maguire. Let's talk about him, the coach. Sorry about my hair, like, really, um, uh, what, what's going on there? Anyway. Michael Maguire, he is a rowdy coach, you know. I don't believe he's going to... I just think they'll improve then 16th. I think they, what, got 13 last year? But they're just a team that's slowly going away. They have brought some good boys in. They've brought Tyrone Peachy. I just... They probably... This is not... If this is rigged, like, if, if the new ladder for the, at the end of the season is Cowboys 10th or Cowboys 4th, then... It's, this is my prediction of the ladder. So if if Tigers do come 12th, then that's a big improvement for what I've thought. But this is what I'm predicting the ladder's going to be. One team has to be 15th. One team, and this is the team I believe. Tigers, they're a West Tigers team, you know, going okay. Yeah, it's just very hard to make this decision, but that's what I'm going to go with. Tigers number 15. Moving on. Right. So... Number 14, getting there. It is a Queensland team. It's not the Broncos. It's not the Titans. But it is the Cowboys. North Queensland Cowboys. The reason why I'm going the Cowboys. Let's put some names out there. Valentine Holmes. Carl Felt. Tom Deeran. Uh, Scott Drinkswater. Who else do we have? 
We've got Ham Hamaso Tabuai Fado. Don't tell me that saying that wrong. Chad Townsend. Chad Townsend, the mate from the Sharks, went from Warriors to sh Sharks to Warriors to Cowboys, back to Warriors, and now back to Cowboys, I think. But that's what I'm going to go with, just because Todd Payton, I don't think he's a really good coach right now. He's not going that well for me. Not impressed of what he's been talking about really lately. But what are I going to say? They're a good team, good Queensland team. They have gone up to 14th, which is good. I think last year they got 15th. But they got Colin Hess. Well, Valentine Holmes has got a big plus for them. I reckon they'll go pretty good, but not too good. What I think they will improve. If Cowboys do get top 10, good job. But we're going to move on right now. 13th spot. Now, this team, you might think this team is top 8, top 5. It's not the Panthers. Calm, it's not the Calm down, guys. Number 13. It is the Canberra Raiders. Now, don't just keep talking about they, they don't deserve it. The reason why... I'll just go put some... No, Ricky Stewart, the coach. He is one of the... Probably one of the best coaches in the league right now. Has put us in Adam Elliott at the... Joe Croker. J Jamal Fogarty. Josh Hodgson. Sebastian Chris. Who else do we have? Josh Bapali'i. All those boys. Xavier Savage is going very well right now. Jordan Rapiner. Charles Nocum Quattstad, all them. Probably saying these names wrong. So many good guys. Jack White and all those boys. They should probably do deserve top eight, even. But just this team is... They have gone up to 13th, but they, I think they probably will improve more. But this is just why they, they have some hold, some new guys. Very talented guys as well. They might get absolutely demolishing the league. They might go up into first. That's not going to happen, but I'm, I'm just saying. That is why that is my number 13. Raiders, Canberra Raiders from Canberra, Queensland team. Just like, that's my prediction. Canberra Raiders, 13 spot. Good on you. Right, number 12. A team that we did win by 26 points in the in the preseason. Yes, this team has hired a, a lot of good blokes. Mm-hmm. Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs now. Just hold on in one second. Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs number twelve. They they were like sixteenth last year. That doesn't matter. The reason why is Trent Barrett hired some great guys. Josh Adokar, Matt Burson, Jake Avalo. He's already there. Matt Dufty. They've hired. Who else have they got? Josh Jackson. They've got so many guys. Tavita Pangai Jr. Him. So many good guys back in... Paul Vaughan. So many good guys. I just think this team will be amazing. They're, they're prop, they might make top eight. You never know. But just unbelievable team. I reckon they'll very improve. They might even get top ten. Might even get top fifteen. They're not going to get last place. No, I probably They might. They might not. But Bulldogs, I'm, I'm ready to see what this team can do in the season. Can't wait to watch the games. Can't wait to see what scores they come up with. Who scores the tries. Josh Edgar. Most tries. Anyway, Bulldogs, number 12. Perfect. Now we got 11th, 10th, and 9th to go, and then we'll do top 8 in another video. Probably today, probably tomorrow. Sometime we might do that video. Number 11. This team is from St. George. Illawarra. And the name is the Dragon. St. George is Illawarra Dragon. Now, put some names out there. Again, Jack Bird. Uh, George Burgess. He's gone. George Burgess. Sorry from the bunnies. He's leaving. Moses Embai. Josh Maguire. Francis Molo. Who else are it? Tyrone Sloan. Targo Sims. Jalen Sullivan. Aaron Woods. Wow. Just speak Andrew McCulloch and the coach. Anthony Griffin. Now, this team... Dragons, they've really, they, I think they've slipped away. Well, the reason why I'm putting them in here, Ben Hunt as well. Reason why is because, they remember that scandal about the drinking at um, Paul Vaughan's house? This team had to get, you know, signed off and or place to get suspended. That's why. This team does not show anything. Reason 11, because they've got some good guys on this team. Reason is just because they're probably going to go, they're probably going to push it hard. I reckon this team will stay, want, they'll probably want to get top eight, which I think they probably might. 
just slips sore at 11th spot. Whoa. Dragons. Number 11. Let's get to 10. Oh, oh, oh another Brisbane team. It is the... Oh, what's, what's going on with my screeners? Brisbane Broncos. Mm-hmm. Let's put Brisbane Broncos at 10. Adam Reynolds is the best player on this team by far. Let's just go through the top. Right. Pat Carrigan. Um, Herbie Harnworth. Tyson Gamble. Jermaine Asako. Tessie New. Unbelievable. Jordan Pereira. Adam Reynolds. Jake Turpin. All those guys. Katoni Staggs. Jordan Rickey. Corey Oaks. David Mead. Breco Lee. Adam, Albert Kelly. Ryan James. Payne Arfs. Selwyn Cobo, Tommy Flegger, Kurt Catewell. That team is fully loaded. Gonna go high. They probably might even top, make top eight. Brisbane team top eight. Amazing. They come 10th. That's my prediction where they fall. Just because they probably could go up to ninth, maybe even 8th. They push harder. But Adam Reynolds will lead that team. Kevin Walsh was a good choice, mate. Good pick. A pick with Adam Reynolds. Pretty good. I can't wait for round one when Broncos versus Rabbitohs. See how that match goes. You know, I'm acting very weird right now. That doesn't matter. They're going to go very well indeed. Right. Prison Broncos, number 11. Sorry, 10. Now, the last one on the list, we're going to go number 9. Now, this team, they did finish 7th last year. Newcastle Knights is my number 9 spot, just short of the top 8. Let's go through some. Michael Barnett, Jalen Braley, Phoenix Crossland, Tyson Fragel, Dane Gagai. Wasn't he at the Rabbitohs last year? He was, wasn't he? Jay Clifford, Bradman Best. Oh, those boys. Ed Edric Lee. The that he, he he was good in the Sharks, I reckon. Very good. Jacob Saifidi, Daniel Saifidi. Uh Kalen Ponga, of course. Dominic Young. All those boys, unbelievable. Solo, Thompson, Smith, all those boys. And the coach, uh, Adam O'Brien, so we're going to lead them. And might even make top eight. Oh, also Mitchell Pierce as well. Or is he, is he retired? Not too sure. Just the Knights. I don't think they're going to... don't think they're going to go any further. They're going okay. Newcastle Knights, good team. Hope they do some win game, some games. Just nine spot is my prediction. So we got Warriors, Tigers, Cowboys, Raiders, Bulldogs, Dragons, Broncos, and Newcastle Knights. That's my bottom eight. Stay tuned. This is the going to be the first video. Stay tuned for the second video of my top eight coming up. I did do an NRL prediction for both top eight and bottom eight like six months ago, four months before the season started. This game is only seven games out. So stay tuned for it. All right, guys. Till next time. Enjoy life and have fun. See ya. Is where we leave.